Hi and welcome. I'm Jules Muller, founder and CEO of Chicks Connect, and this is our new chick Q&A and potential chicks. So we just wanted to record this session for all of you that couldn't make it this morning, and we hope to get all of your questions answered, and we hope to welcome some brand new chicks as well. So we'll start with Jennifer. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about who you are, where you're from, what you do, and if you have a burning question right away so that I can... <laughs> Okay, well, my name is Jennifer Agger. I'm in Southern Illinois. Um, I am a, an Air Force veteran. I was in for 12 years, and I'm also a Gold Star wife. I lost my husband to cancer uh, that was service-connected um, in 2014. Since then, I've done a lot of healing. I've done a lot of research into holistic lifestyle, and I try to lead one to the greatest extent possible here in the Midwest. Um, and I just joined up with Chicks Connect uh, this past week. I, I met them because I have become a spokesperson for an organization called Welcome Home Troops. And Sue Rebar, the founder, she's the one who introduced me to Jules. And here we are, and I'm really excited. Um, I, I would like to learn um, how I can utilize internet marketing. Uh, that's a big push for me, and I, I really feel like there is at least one book in me, maybe more, uh, with everything that I've been through with recent years, and um, I'd, love, I'd love some mentorship uh, in, in making that happen, so that's where I'm at. <laughs> great, great. And Arlie? Yes, hi. My name's Arlie Sample, and right now I'm living in Seattle. Oh, we can't quite hear you. I don't know where your microphone is. Um, you're able to turn it up just a little bit or speak a little louder maybe better sounds yeah. a little better I've got a very soft voice yes is that better now hello Are yes we, we can yeah. hear you okay I'm Arlie Sample in Sela Washington I'm a transplanted Canadian I've been living here in the U.S. for about 20 years uh, when I was in Canada, I was one of the founding members of a group in Vernon, BC called uh, Women in Business. And we operated out of a transition center. And uh, started just when the economy had crashed and women were looking around for something that they could do at home. So it was really a support group for home-based business. But we started getting other members first from realtors and bankers and nurses and everybody because our group um, I guess was supportive in many other ways other than just giving the direction to where to go to get a business license and that sort of thing. I found that to be a phenomenal experience and uh, that began in the early 80s and it's going to the same time. It must, it must have had some value. Uh, I've been looking for something like that here in my area. I haven't been able to find anything that closely resembles it at all. It's all to do with networking. And um, I know there's more to being in business than simply knowing in the paperwork. There's a lot of emotional and psychological things that need to be addressed. And um, I would just like to be with a group of women who are like-minded and who uh, we'll share and support for each other. So I heard about Chicks Connect through, through uh, Jeanette, um, you know, yes, and uh, she invited me to uh, get a hold of Jules, which I did last night, and so I'm all, all ears. And so here you are. Now, what part of Washington are you in? I'm in, um, I'm near a town called Yakima. Uh, that is South Central, and I live just outside of that, that, that city in a town called Sela. We're the apple juice capital of the world. Oh, wonderful. Oh. Wonderful. <laughs> Love apples, for sure. Well, great. Well, I think I will just um, kind of dive in to um, some of the information that we have, and then at any point in time, stop me if you have questions. Um, I just want to run over the basic structure of our organization. So we are a membership platform. 
and uh, the men and women who join our organization, we do have men that join as well, uh, very few, but they do. Um, and so the people that join our organization pay $27 monthly, and they pay one time on the website, they place their order, and then it automatically charges them every 30 days. And so <clears throat> they don't have to submit the order again. Sometimes we have members that go in diligently and try to pay every month, and um, it'll just do that until they stop the payment. Um, with that, we have a, a, another program that's called our affiliate program, and the person who sent you to Chicks Connect will receive a portion of your monthly membership, and that's called affiliate marketing. And what we do is pay $10 per month to the person that sent you to our organization. So um, those, those are pretty much the fees, the 27 that comes in, the $10 that goes out to the person that referred you. And like I said, that'll go month after month after month until um, you decide to cancel uh, if you do. The other thing that I want you, especially leaders, to know as they're building their chapters is within the first 30 days, if anyone is dissatisfied with our organization, they can receive a full refund. And so there really is no risk in joining for the $27 because they can try it out for 30 days. And if they don't like it, they get their complete $27 back. So uh, we want to do that because we want to create amazing fans and loyal customers and people that really value what we're doing and that want to be a part of what we're doing. Because like you mentioned, Arlie, this isn't um, just networking. It's women building these friendships. It's women being there to hear one another, to hold one another accountable, to help each other move in challenges as well as celebrate the life celebration that occur. So, um, so I'll just take you really quickly to the website. I'm going to do a screen share here on our Zoom. Take you to the website and just give you a, a real quick kind of navigation through the website. <clears throat> and so if you look, this is the home page. These are called sliders, so these rotate through here. The chick of the month section is dedicated to those people that are leaders. So if you are a chair chick, you can be featured in chick of the month. And so these are just past chick of the months. The spotlight chick is dedicated to any member that wants to be featured. And we'll just click on one of these so you can see um, essentially what it looks like. But there's a template. Any, any member can fill this out and send it to us with logos and pictures. And we will feature you on the front of the website as well as in our weekly newsletter, as well as on our social media. So it's reaching a very large uh, group of people out there uh, on the internet. So um, we just have a question. Tell us about yourself. What inspired you to do what you do professionally? Tell us the story of how you made a difference in someone's life. What have you gained personally from being a member of Chicks Connect? What have you gained professionally? any words of wisdom for other chicks. And then we ask you to do a call to action. So this is where you can put your logo and all of your contact information. If you have a special for chicks, like if you're reading this, you know, enter the code XYZ and you know, you can get a free download or something like that. So you can decide what you want to do um, for your call to action. And then we go back to the home page. Um, one of our featured, um, our Chicks Give Back section, we like to feature our nonprofits here. So um, Children First for Oregon, we just sent them a thousand dollar check from our last event. And so we'll do a write up of that here with a picture of um, all the diapers we collected as well. So at our last event, we collected items which were diapers and children's clothing. And we also did a raffle with donation items and uh, with raffle baskets and a thousand dollars was donated to them. So that's where we'll put that. Um, and then down here we have a guest blogger. So um, Jennifer, you mentioned that you have a book in you. You might want to start with just your first article and whether or not you have your own blog, um, you can turn that article into us and we can um, take that article and turn it into um, you know, a blog article right here. So I'll show you okay. either guest bloggers. So Jamie Lee and Debbie Fonko are great at turning in weekly um, articles to me. And essentially they just email me in the subject line, they put a blog article and then I copy mm -hmm. paste into our Chicks Connect blog and we promote it for them. So um, if you don't have your own website or even if you do have your own website, but you want it to go to a different group of people, um, 
you know, this is just one more place for people to see and learn more about you. Um, but Amy, is, or excuse me, Jamie is a, an animal Reiki practitioner. So she writes blogs about the healing energy of Reiki um, and how it affects uh, animals and their human uh, partners. So she has a lot of blogs on our website that she turns in um, to be posted. So that's the um, area for the blogs. Also, if you have a book that you've written, we can feature you in the author's corner, which also shows up down here. All of our Facebook information is down here and then testimonials. So if you'd like to be in the testimonial feed, essentially you just write a testimonial about Chicks Connect, put your name and business name, send me a picture, and then we'll upload it on the website. So lots of ways for you to be seen on the website. Um, and that's our homepage. Then we go over to membership. The top tab is just the join now. That's an order form. Uh, the next tab down is about membership. So sometimes, especially when you're a leader, someone might ask you, well, what do I get for my $27? You know, that's a, um, a very valid question. What, is, what are the tangible things that I get in return for paying this membership? And mm -hmm. if you go, pardon me? Oh, I thought I heard somebody say something. Uh, so if you go down here, all of these are the tangible items that you get. All of these things are things that you get for your $27. Now, I'm going to show you where a link is on YouTube, and it's 23 minutes, but it describes each one of those things. So I'm not going to take the time to do that right now. We already have that recorded. Um, but the other thing uh, you know, what the women say a lot of times is it's not the tangible items that I'm getting, it's how I'm feeling inside. Um, and that's what the true benefits are for me. And this is how they reported feeling. So um, all these different feeling words came from our very first event where I said, you know, how does it feel to be a member of our organization? And we took all these words and put them in here. So, you know, they feel safe, they feel like they're getting personal attention, they're growing, they have a safe place to be vulnerable, safe place to connect. So, so the chapter groups are really um, a place that the women feel they can be their authentic self and they can share and get the support that they need and they trust one another. And so that's kind of the culture that we create, that these women feel very um, trustworthy of one another. They feel like they can be accountable to each other and really you know, take steps toward their personal goals as well as their professional goals. So that's under the membership tab. Member directory, so this is a list of all the members. Uh, once you're a member, you can fill out your profile and we'll see if we have one. Let's look at, um, let's go down here and look at uh, Diane. Let's see if Diane has hers filled out all the way. So you see some people haven't put their pictures in yet, um, but you, you're you able to um, also link your Facebook page. She doesn't have that here, but if you had a Facebook page, that would go there as well. Um, your biographical info, so a little bio your strengths, and then if you have a special offer. So if you have um, like a half an hour free consultation or if you have, um, you know, $10 off your first purchase of whatever it is or buy three massages, get your fourth one free. So whatever kind of special you might wanna offer the chicks there. Um, so your individual profile here, your member login. So once you join, you're sent a username and password. You log in right here. And when you do that, you're taken to a page that allows you to create your user profile. Um, it allows you to uh, find all the lessons from the past six years. And I'll show you what a lesson looks like. Uh, we call them Chicks Growth and Development Activities. Uh, the member's homepage, frequently asked questions. And um, do I have to own a business to be a chick? Sometimes people think they have to own a business. No, we have probably about 15 to 20% of our members um, do not have businesses, but would like to either start a business or, or they're loving retirement and they like the social and philanthropic um, aspect of our organization as well. And so they really don't want to look for a business opportunity. They just want to join in for the social um, and philanthropy. So these kind of answer any questions that maybe you would have um, or other people might be asking you. 
Um, and then we go down here, the testimonials that I already spoke, uh, talked to you about. Okay, so chapters. So if somebody wants to start their own chapter, they go right here, start your own chapter. Chapter directory, I'll show you a list. Right now we have, I think, around 70 women that are either already have a chapter or they want to start a chapter. So they're somewhere in there. I'll have to look at the exact number. A new chapter launches, a chapter roster update form. So if your chapter moves location, um, changes the date or whatever, you simply fill out this form and then we'll update the chapter roster. And then um, visitor registration. We love to send out thank you for visiting cards to people that visit our chapters because it's a nice touch that you know a lot of businesses don't do and so we like to stand out. So when you have a visitor coming to your chapter meeting, we ask that they fill this out. I'll get a notification and then we'll send them a thank you for visiting card in the mail, the real mail. So that's kind of fun. So I'm going to stop right there before going on anymore and just see if either of you have any questions. Um, I, go ahead. Oh, no, that's my bag. Um, I was curious in the online chapters. How many online chapters do we have? Yeah, because it's not one, but I, I don't know if I was looking in the right place or. Okay, great question. So let me scoot over there and show you. Um, every, so this takes me to every Thursday, we send out our newsletter. And again, members can submit items to our newsletter. And let me just show you how to do that real quick. So once you're a member, you're part of the Chicks Connect members only Facebook group. And when you're in this group, got things popping up. Um, every day, a different post comes over from our fan page. And um, I need to do a training on that because not everyone is engaging with that. But let me, um, just show you okay so right here so um deny uh jennifer is going to be a great person for you to meet because she runs the online marketing uh chicks connect group she is an internet marketer and has been for like 25 years i don't know how long a long time she she was in the industry before it was even you know known <laughs> and uh, and so she is the one that every day posts on our fan page chicks connect um, and then shares it to this group now Friday fun this one is just you know chat about something that you're gonna do fun over the weekend but on Saturday we have a fan page one where people can post their fan page links and like each other's fan page and increase your engagement um, and then we have another one like Work It Wednesday, and that's where you can post your specials that you have for your business or any kind of business bragging, things like that. Um, but on Thursday, back to what I was talking about, on Thursday we have something called Newsletter Thursday. And every Thursday we do the newsletter, and I'm just going to actually search because I don't know how far down it is. So over here, if you don't know on Facebook, over here in the little search feature, you could, on Thursday, you could find, you could search news, oops, you could search newsletter and then see uh, what comes up. It should pop right up normally when I do this. Newsletter Thursday. Might be because I touched it. Okay, so Newsletter Thursday, this link right here takes you to the form to fill something out for the newsletter. So on Thursday, let's say you have an event coming up or you're doing a, um, a lesson, some kind of uh, demonstration or a webinar and you wanna promote it in the events. Or let's say someone in your chapter or someone that you know really needs some love and hugs. You know, they've lost an animal or they've lost a loved one um, or you have a testimonial for another chick in your group uh, or someone else that you met with and you want to brag about them in the newsletter. So all of those things can be listed or reasons to celebrate. Like let's say you just rank advanced in your business or you just made a million dollars in sales or 
um, you just, uh, you know, trademarked your business for the first time, or you just finished your book, whatever the celebration might be, we want to celebrate with you. So you would put that in the newsletter as well. Um, and then what it looks like when it's all finished up, is this so every thursday we send out the newsletter and um, because you just joined jennifer you may have received this mm -hmm. um, another thing that newbie chicks need to know is that sometimes our our emails land in your spam folder and so um, you have to kind of make us um, acceptable so that every thursday you can receive the newsletter and every friday you'll receive the weekly activity um, but though it'll look something like this every week where we'll we'll feature someone in the spotlight so Anna turned in her information and we're featuring her. She's also on the website. I say a little something right here. Remember, we talked about that love and hugs section. So someone turned in a love and hugs. This woman's husband's been diagnosed with bladder cancer and she's so appreciative of everyone um, sending out love. Um, these are our chapters that are launching. These are some changes right here and here. But the question that I'm getting to in a very roundabout way, Jennifer, <laughs> was uh, the online chapters. So these are the online chapters. And if you click here where it says SoCal Online Chicks, you can join the Facebook group and then you'll always be notified when their next meeting is. But typically they do them weekly and they use this platform of Zoom. Um, savvy and successful online chicks. Uh, a gal in um, Idaho runs that. This gal's in California. Uh, Dawn runs this. She's in Oregon. Accountability Chicks, uh, that's the East Coast, so they are, uh, Tamika's in New York, and Robin is in Salem, Oregon, and she is picking a day and time for her online chapter. But again, these are all the Facebook groups associated with those chapters. You can join that and then uh, be informed when they're going to have their next meeting. Okay. Uh, um, chicks can also send specials. So she's saying, hey, get a free chapter of my book. She's saying, hey, for Mother's Day, you can get a great facial, you know. Um, then we like to do chapter updates. So these two chicks visited the Vegas chicks. So these are, you met Tamia, and you know Rosemary, Jennifer, you know these two um, yeah. from your NASCAR visit. Uh, but yeah. these two came from Portland, and they visited this chapter. So the other thing about Chicks Connect is once you're a member, you can go to as many chapters as you want and for the same price. And we encourage you to pick a home chapter that you're dedicated to where you do your featured presentation, you show up on a weekly basis, but you're more than welcome to go and visit other groups. Um, these are our new uh, members right here. So we list the new members here. Um, we have, uh, like I told you, the guest bloggers, right? So Jamie does a lot of blogging doesn't cost any extra for this. Um, any, any member can send me information and we'll post it here and feature you, not only on our blog, but also in our newsletter and also to social media. And our newsletter goes out to over 3,000 people. They aren't all members of Chicks Connect. So, so again, you're reaching a larger audience. So as you're talking with potential members, it's not just the organization that they have access to and all the relationships within this network, but it's everyone's extended networks as well. Um, we talked about the affiliate program. So these are the people who refer people. So this gal has 19 referrals, Dawn Hartwell. So she makes $190 a month for those referrals, month after month after month, as long as they're members. So, um, you know, people can make another side income um, just by referring people to our organization. Here's some upcoming events. This is where I do my schedule. I don't know if you know much about me, but we live in our motorhome and we tour the US right now. Actually, we're in Canada right now, uh, Vernon, Canada, where Arlie's from. Uh, and uh, so anyway, these, this is kind of, you can figure out where I am by looking at that. Um, okay. And then we talk about uh, every year I send out a survey and I ask the members, what are your three personal challenges and what are your three business challenges? And then I compile all that information and I make the curriculum and the themes for the year. And during your chapter meetings, you discuss the topics that I send out um, based on, you know, the majority of people that said they wanted that topic. So for example, um, I think our first week in May, we talked about dreaming big. And so everyone shared their big dreams, what was keeping them from achieving those dreams, and then some action steps that everyone helped them brainstorm um, as ways to move toward that dream. 
And then um, last week we talked about living fully. How can we do that in all aspects of our life, our health, our wealth, our, um, our business, our relationships, all of that. Um, you know, then we have things like identifying your niche, content creation, delivery of content, sales presentations. So we, we have a nice balance of personal growth as well as business growth. And so everyone gets that lesson on Friday and then they bring it to their weekly meeting and they discuss it for the first, you know, 15, 20 minutes. And then they move on to the 10 minute featured chick and then set their goals for the week, any kind of announcements, things like that. And then, um, but that's, you can see what kind of themes are coming up for the rest of the year. Um, this is our creed. We open every meeting with the creed and we like to tell people that, um, you know, if, if you're not really in alignment with these things, you're probably not going to be a good fit for our organization. Um, our organization is about empowering and connecting and um, really improving self-improvement as well as helping others and being supportive and mentoring, like you mentioned, Jennifer. So mm -hmm. all of those things, all built on a foundation of love, fun, friendship, service, and support. And so we really attract the the right people luckily because that's in all of our our uh, marketing is is this love and it's nurturing and this support um we're all about collaboration and so um so anyway that's our newsletter that comes out every thursday i'll stop just for a moment and then i will um and take questions and then i'm going to scoot over to what a lesson looks like depart the meeting but i do have a couple more questions okay and if you can speak a little bit louder so i can hear you that'd be great i'm going to turn off that so i can see you a little better i think my monitor is too far away from me okay uh, my question while you're talking a couple things uh, i live in a kind of a uh, i wouldn't say a rural area but people here are uh, they're very, oh gee, how can I put this? There's a lot of political and religious divides in this area. Uh, what I'm getting from this is that has most of the people I've attempted to join have those elements in them. This does not. Am I correct? Um, I think what you're asking is um, you stated that you, there might be some political and religious divides in your in your area and. Um, and so you're asking if we have a political or religious uh, background in our organization? Yeah. Okay. Um, no, uh, we are open and accepting of all that can follow our creed. And um, so here, and I can send this to you in a Facebook. Um, I'll send this to you in a, a, whoops, there it is right there. And it's funny because in our newsletter this week, um, in the very top section where I said I say some stuff, that is where uh, I just posted the first of this whole thing. So our Chicks Connect vision and foundation, um, to summarize it, it's right here. Um, but then I broke down every little piece and I identified what that means. And so in our love section, it's about being loving, tolerant, kind, and accepting of all people, our, our similarities, and our differences. This includes race, gender, religion, and sexuality. Doesn't mean that we all have to agree, <laughs> but we can show one another love and support while we're part of the Chicks Connect movement and following the culture of our organization. Uh, and then it goes into men are welcome, of course, and, and things like that. So this breaks down what, what do we mean by love? What do we mean by fun? What do we mean by friendship, by service, support? And then what is a mastermind? You know, not everyone, um, people typically understand what a networking meeting is, and this is different than that. So I'm, I'll send you this document um, so you can look at the whole thing. And what was your other question, hon? Um, well, I can, there's nothing, here along these lines it's it's uh we've got a lot of church groups and we've got a lot of uh, business networking groups but this is quite unique here and i can imagine that there would be plenty of interest uh, that would be i think the problem with managing the growth of the organization right now i've got a place for us to meet that can hold six or eight people what goes on in the future when you get say a group of 20 or 30 people um that's going to involve renting 
database and account and da. That, that's a great question. And um, for our mastermind groups, we uh, recommend that you don't get any bigger than 14 before you branch off and start another one. So oh, this, this was founded in the Oregon area, and there are probably 25 chapters, different days and times, all within a half an hour of one another. And so that gives people choice uh, because not everyone can meet during the day or during the night or whatever. Um, and so you'll, you'll recognize, especially if you're, you're going to lead, sometimes our leaders decide to start two chapters. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes they just start one and then they, they see the leaders within their group and then they mm -hmm. gently nudge them to go start their own. Um, and so they, the, and a lot of times those leaders will continue to go to the chapter that they started with to get mm -hmm. fed and then they'll go out and start their own and empower another group of women, right? So, um, and and if it looks like, you know, we find a, a better place where 20, 25 people can meet, then we encourage you to break off into small groups because the, the part of the meeting that's really juicy for people is um, the fact that they all get to participate, they all get to be heard. It's not just yeah. go listen to one person talk for an hour and then leave. Um, yeah. Everyone is engaging and everyone is participating. And the other part is, they set goals on a weekly basis, personally and professionally. And you can't make it around a room with everybody having a, a, a minute of time, you know, in 15 minutes if you have more than 15 people. So it needs to be, you know, this week I need to go to yoga three times. I need accountability. I need to be able to text someone once I do that. You know, for my business, I need to finish up my website content and get that turned in by Thursday. Uh, those are my two goals, you know. And so people are setting these goals on a weekly basis. And then the next week they come by, I accomplished them, yay! You know, everybody celebrates, celebrating the baby steps and moving forward. So does, does that answer that for you? It certainly does, small is good. Okay, and, and they can be more intimate, but then the cool thing about it is when you have all these small groups, they get together for what's called chicks mixes. And so you have potlucks or you go bowling and you have one chapter against the other, or you go to the beach for the weekend, or you go to Vegas on a trip, you know? And so um, we had a beach trip with 13 women from six different chapters. And that was so fun. And one woman came all by herself, didn't know anybody else there, you know, and, and we all shared rooms and had a great time and fixed meals together. So, um, you know, it, it really, when, you, when you're bringing together women with the culture of love and support and empowerment, amazing, it just attracts these amazing women. And we've also had women that come and say, well, I, I've never had a girlfriend. I can't stand women. They're catty. They're backstabbing. Um, I've never had a good experience with women. And I say, you haven't met these women. You know, these women are amazing. We're just drawing in the ones that really want to serve and give and learn and grow. And um, when you bring all those people together with a common purpose of just really loving each other up, it's a beautiful thing. It really is. It's fun to watch. <laughs> I, I do have to run. Okay, sweetie, uh, just message me. I'll send you the vision and foundation. And just so you know, um, as a leader, we, we have a different Facebook group for you as well called Chair Chick University, where all our leaders go. That's where all of the training that you need, all the supplies that you need, everything you need to get your chapter going. So whenever you're ready, we'll be right there to help you. I'm ready. Okay, <laughs> so just hit the join now button and uh, then we'll start the process of getting you introduced to the groups and getting you everywhere you need to go. So then uh, all you'd need to do is pick day, time and location for your launch. And um, then we'll start helping you promote it and uh, get you your Facebook group set up and all that. Great, okay. I okay. will do Wonderful. Stop. All right. We'll talk bye -bye. soon. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Jennifer. Have Good a great luck. weekend. Thank you. You too. Uh, there's an end meeting. I think it's bottom right hand corner on my computer. Yeah, but my mouse is upside down. It doesn't work. All right. So, Jennifer, any of did that spur any questions for you? Um. Uh, I can't think of any questions per se. It was a lot of really good information. Um, and I didn't realize that there was a structure to the chapters, you know, that we all follow a sim you know, not the same curriculum, but you know, we're, we're all talking about the same thing with different perspectives. Yes. So I think that's really cool. Um, I love that. And, uh, let's see, I'll show you one of the, 
lessons, just so you kind of have an idea of that and those okay. people in the recording watching. So all of these are in the, the member area, but um, so let's just look at this one. This one says January week three, scheduling and time management. Um, and so, like I said, everyone that's a member will receive this via email. It's also in the members only area on the website. It's also in our Facebook group in the files section. So I okay. upload like to so many different places. Um, we encourage our leaders not to print off copies for everyone. We want to empower our members. <laughs> and so we <laughs> encourage everyone to bring their own. Now the leaders can bring a couple extra for guests, um, but we really want our members to take responsibility. We also want our members to um, take on a leadership role within their chapters. So we have the chair chick, of course, that's the facilitator. We have the membership chick, the uh, chick with the BIC, and that keeps the 10 minute featured chick in line. Things are, you know, the schedule for that. Um, so this is all about scheduling and time management. So um, in week one, we identified our priorities. In week two, we had the right mindset with focus. Now it's time to talk about scheduling and time management. So uh, challenges as they relate to scheduling. Uh, do you schedule your fun, your wellness, your volunteer time? So this is an example of, um, and there's a quote in there, just an example of one of the lessons. Now this is a really cool video about time and it, it measures it in seconds. And what if you had these 860 something thousand seconds? So that's kind of a cool thing. And then you brainstorm all the time management tips from your chapter group. Um, and then circle your three favorite ideas and give them a try. So it's really about identifying what the theme is, how do you implement it, or what challenges do you still have, and then what are you gonna do for the next week? You know, how are you gonna move forward? So each lesson is kind of similar uh, to that. And it's, you know, it's all the themes there, you know. So, so what is cool is, you know, as you're doing your lesson over here, they'll be doing it in Vegas, they'll be doing it in, uh, you know, Oregon, and so you can, have these conversations about cool resources within the whole group as well and the online mm -hmm. groups. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that kind of, you know, the other thing I guess I want to show everybody um, is the newbie chick group because they can get connected right away. Um, so when you join, you're given a big sis. So we have a big sis program. Um, and that big sis should reach out and welcome you. And then you get introduced into the main group and other people will welcome you. They might even friend you. I don't know, did you experience that where people were sending <laughs> friend requests? Yes, I, I have probably 20 to 30 new friends now, so. <laughs> That's awesome. So they saw you, you know, some people take the newsletter and friend requests from the newsletter. Others take mm -hmm. that, that welcome that you see in the group um, and, and they use that. But um, so for you, you said that you wanted uh, to write a book. Maybe you have one or two within you. So mm -hmm. we have something called Author Chicks, and we like to feature our authors, and we like to encourage the authors to join together, post resources. Uh, we did a, um, there's a recorded webinar here uh, for this first 1,000 books. I signed up for this program because I'm going to be writing a book as well, um, so I can tell you about that. Uh, but, it, you know, different people post different things regarding writing books. So. Okay. We also have blogger chicks, video chicks. Um, every chapter has their own group. We have the newbie chick support group. Um, and in here, if you're just like, wow, there's so much I don't even know how to get started or what to do, just go to this group, watch mm -hmm. this little vi video, and it will tell you 15, it'll tell you how to get the 15 steps to get connected. So this is kind of like a little to-do list. And again, you can just go over here and go, uh, number one, just search number one, it's going to bring up the first step. And the first step is really um, how to get your email because our emails sometimes hide. <laughs> and mm -hmm. so you want to make sure that you get them. Um, then you would just go into number two, number three, etc. Yeah. Okay. And then um, our leader group is called Chair Chick University. And anyone that wants to start a chapter, at any point in time can join this group and you'll find a lot of information in the files section and they hit oh files files used to be right here they put it over here now so here are the leadership roles that we talked a little bit about so everyone takes on a leadership role be it fun chicks charity chicks chick with a bic um, 
chair chick applications here a launch agenda so this helps you with you know your very first meeting um, and it just has lots of different things in here ways to market your chapter things like that Okay. So that's a lot of information. We have a ton more, but I don't want to overwhelm anybody. Um, and so I just want to see, Jennifer, like how can we specifically help you and uh, what questions do you have at this point? Well, um, showing me the online chapters on the newsletter, that was very helpful because when I look in, looked in the directory, I saw one that was, you know, that I saw that was online, but I didn't see any others. So I'm definitely going to move forward with joining, um, a, you know, start out with one or two, I think, and try that out. Um, and the, the author chicks, the blogger chicks, uh, I didn't realize that those Facebook pages were out there. So I'm definitely going to be joining those. Um, so th yeah, this is a ton of stuff for me to, to work on. So I'm really <laughs> <laughs> so um, this list has just been posted. This one we need to remove. Um, but if you if you look at this list, this is the first of our kind of chapter overhaul. Um, mm -hmm. We have the names of the leaders, the chapter names, the city, and the state. Um, and so, and some will say worldwide online. So Linda's going to start one online, and that's a military one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, you know, she's going to do a worldwide online. Okay. So it looks like, yeah, around 73 mm -hmm. um, leaders that are interested in starting chapters. And so this document is available in the files as well. We're just kind of putting the finishing tweaks on it. But let's say you knew someone in Las Vegas and you wanted to introduce them to the leader there so they could go visit a, a you know, group. You could see, oh, Tamia is going to do a military chapter but also Tiffany runs the Las Vegas Jam and for Joy Chicks. Mm -hmm. um, and so you could introduce them to them. So we're working on revamping this whole thing and adding people to it. Um, okay. And then we also have a master list for all the different Facebook groups. And this one I need to do some work on. It's, it's, it's huge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, this is kind of, yeah. So if you were like, gosh, I really love to ride bikes. So then I'd say, okay, great. Join the bicycling chicks, you know, mm -hmm. or if you love fashion, you might want to join the fashionista chicks or the spa chicks. Mm -hmm. So um, when women come up with an interest and they want to gather together other women that are like-minded, they ask me to start them a group. Um, so okay. we do have the military. I think I have trying to think of what I did a military focus group it's so funny that we're connected with you guys because it has to be like three four years ago way before I ever heard of uh, welcome home troops mm -hmm. I did a military focus group for chicks connect because I wanted to serve that population but I didn't know how I didn't know you know like what it would look like would it be for the wives would it be for the veterans would it be for active um, so anyway I started this group but this is another group that maybe you want to be a part of um, as we're kind of growing things out. So awesome. Okay. Anything else? I think we covered it. Uh, I'm going to dig into this stuff and I'm probably going to be bombarding you with questions once I get, get going again. So this is just, I just, I got to tell you, this is really amazing what you've got here. And, you know, I'm kind of rolling through my head, you know, women that I know that would, that would benefit from this. And, you know, I can't wait to talk to them about it. Um, and, um, you know, hopefully I know you're, you know, you've got a lot of presence out there in, in, you know, the Northwest. Um, and, you know, I really hope that this just grows to where, you know, we get to the point where, you know, we've got chapters just all, all across America because it's, it really is a wonderful thing you're doing. So. Well, thank you. Thank you. And we can't, way to connect all of you and uh, get you the support that you need and those people that don't even know they need support yet right because yeah <laughs> even think of what's going on you know and I love the article that you wrote as well so thank you that's thank great. you thank yeah. you yeah. So. Okay, well, that is something um, that is something I wanted to kind of talk to you about maybe our strategy about that Sue was wanting to kind of throw some teasers out there before we actually make the announcement. And I'm not sure how, how to do that, you know, how to, 
you know, the verbiage that I want to use and, and the approach I want to take. So I'd love to talk to you sometime about that if you have any ideas. Yeah, yeah. And probably one of the um, one of the great things to do, you know, sometimes I always think about I have to make things up or, or whatever. But really, we have so much. If you go right here uh -huh. to the website and you go down to um, even Chick of the Month. So if you go to Chick of the Month or Spotlight Chick, mm -hmm. And then you just um, like, let's look at, let's look at this one. You just pick one, but you go down to, uh, that's a big one. Okay. Um, oh, I don't know that she, she, it doesn't look like she answered the questions in the template uh, format. Let's look at Tita. Okay. So if we look right here and you go down to the two questions, one of them is, um, how has Chicks Connect helped you personally and how has Chicks Connect helped you professionally? Uh, mm -hmm. What have you gained professionally from being a member of Chicks Connect? So you could just copy this as a quote from Tita mm -hmm. um, and that could be a blurb, you know. Um, this too could be a blurb, uh, you know, uh, and just quote them. Like this is what people are saying about Chicks Connect. Boom. Okay. And grab it from Tita. And um, I was actively seeking a group that would be both business and personal, a women's mastermind that met on a weekly basis. It's very important to me to build relationships, do, uh, and to do that, you need time. Most groups I know only met once a month. When I heard about it, was invited. I knew I was going to join before I ever stepped foot into a meeting. So, I mean, that's a great quote right there, you know, and that's a great blurb because it describes what she was looking for, what she didn't want, and how she found it, you know, so... Mm -hmm. um, and then just kind of put quotes in their name and you should be good to go. And okay. there's lots of content on the website. Um, and then, oh, let me show you this and all the newbie people too. Uh, so we have a Chicks Connect graphics. This is a great group because um, we have a ton of, if you go to the photos, you can download any of these and use them. Okay. Um, so when you're launching, you do this, you know, here's happy birthday, but it's all Chicks, Chicks Connect. Some of these are my quotes. Um, so these are, you know, even Twitter or whatever, love yourself up, let your brilliance shine, surround yourself with wise women. So they, they're like little memes or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So you could upload the picture with a quote and your tracking link or her tracking link. I don't know if you're doing it for you or for her or both. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Okay, good deal. All right, my darling, anything else? I think that'll do it for now. I'm okay. going to do this. Absorb all this, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, let me know what I can do to help you and steer you in the right direction. If, if you spend longer than two minutes trying to figure something out, message me because it's okay. mostly, I'll be able to get the answer for you. Um, and I love to stay connected and, and help whenever okay. I can. Okay. Okay. Well, I really appreciate it. <laughs> Have a great weekend. All right. You too. Bye-bye.